विकास समिति इज अ सोशल वेलफेयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ वाराणसी प्रोविंस ऑफ द इंडियन मिशनरी सोसाइटी इट वॉज रजिस्टर्ड इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सेवन अंडर द सोसाइटी रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट विथ इट्स हेड ऑफिस इन वाराणसी The mission of Janavika Samiti is to empower the poor and the marginalized through a process of animation leading to integral development and structural change. Oppression of women, the plight of Dalits and tribals, children living in difficult and non-secured circumstances. discrimination of persons with disabilities as well as the difficulties faced by man-made and natural calamities are some of the major issues that prompted Varanasi province of the IMS to establish a social welfare society specifically in the name of Janavika Samiti to address these issues affecting the poor and the marginalized in particular empowerment of the marginalized with a special focus on women dalits and other socially and economically deprived sections in the society formal and non-formal education of children with a focus on dalits tribals girls and children with disabilities especially in the rural areas community based rehabilitation of persons with disabilities with a special focus in rural areas where janavika samiti operates social action in the context of the current issues affecting the people such as corruption and female infanticide prevention of child labor and implementation of child protection policy intervention at the time of natural as well as man-made calamities such as flood earthquake and communal violence interreligious dialogue to establish peace and harmony in the society strengthening local self governance called panchayati raj the smallest elected administrative unit of the government at the local level extending community health programs in all our operating areas of work advocacy and networking with government and other like-minded organizations individuals and groups currently janavika samiti is active in uttar pradesh बिहार झारखंड मध्य प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश तमिलनाडु एंड केरला बिसाइड्स दीज जन विकास समिति इज ऑल्सो एक्सटेंडिंग इट्स सर्विसेज टू अदर स्टेट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ एंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया थ्रू द पार्टनरशिप ऑफ लिलियानी फाउंडेशन 
to specify the Janavikas Samiti has 36 centers in which programs are implemented directly and other 86 centers through the partnership with Liliani Foundation. To address certain issues that needed specific attention, the Indian Missionary Society has also registered a few other organizations and trusts that function under the Indian Missionary Society. They are Vishwa Jyoti Communications, the Media Center for Social Communication through low-cost media, Asmita for addressing the issues affecting the migrant and domestic workers, street children and slum dwellers. Ashray for the cure and rehabilitation of the mentally ill people and Lok Chaitra Samiti. The development methodology of IMS Janavikas Samiti is community-based people's participation at all levels. And for these, we use low-cost media like street plays, puppet shows, stories, awareness songs, dramas, seminars and workshops to motivate, educate and empower the poor. IMS Janavikas Samiti in its programs for persons with disabilities follows community-based rehabilitation approach. The organizational belief is that persons with disabilities are like any other human beings and have all needs that other persons have and thus we follow the humanistic and holistic approach for their development. The strength of IMS Janavikas Samiti in its disability rehabilitation program are its dedicated team of therapists and special educators who provide home-based rehabilitation programs and other regular outreach camps through the support of other networking organizations, doctors and therapists. We are happy that in our community-based rehabilitation program, we have been able to work with about 600 rural families having members with disabilities and facilitating them to access their rights. As a result of our work, the Sight Savers International recognized Janavika Samiti as its best partner in 2009. In 2002, we also started working with NABAD the Government Agency for Rural Development. In 2006, a partnership agreement was signed with Liliani Foundation and IMS Janavikas Samiti as its strategic partner for the coordination of its program in North and Northeast India. As a strategic partner, IMS Janavikas Samiti deputed an active and qualified member of the society as a full-time Liliani Foundation staff and ensured the appointment of a competent team for the smooth and sustainable functioning of the program. It also provides proper office space, regular support, constant monitoring, internal auditing of accounts and a friendly environment to the Liliani Foundation staff. Janavikas Samiti also effectively managed funds received from Liliani Foundation as per the guidelines and financial regulations of the Government of India. We also acknowledge that this partnership 
has helped IMS Janavikas Samiti to recognize disability as a larger development issue, to include disability as a major issue in the policy of IMS and to have preference for the disabled candidates while recruiting project staff, to provide disability management training for the IMS Janavika Samiti members and other staffs and to involve the animators from all the projects to include people with disability in their program activities and thus make disability as cross-cutting issue in all the programs of the organization. And in this process, Janavikas Samiti is also registered under Persons with Disability Act 1995, which is a prerequisite to work in the disability sector in India. The major challenges faced while implementing the project were corruption at all levels, lack of infrastructure and resource centers in needed places, cultural and religious taboos and attitudes, lack of political will from the part of the government, disinterest and apathy towards health and hygiene, lack of civic sense and non-availability of professional especially in the rural areas of the country. However, we are happy that we have taken a small step towards the inclusion and integration of persons with disabilities in all spheres of life in our operational areas as much as possible. We are also thankful to all our collaborators, well-wishers and supporters. We are sure that the work which has begun will continue and human communities of people will be strongly built up in the near future.